Hello and welcome to another hair video. In this video, I'll be braiding a toddler's hair. Now, as you know, some toddlers they give trouble when it comes to combing their hair. Some of them, I don't think they like tolerating or combing their hair, or they may be sensitive in their scalp, like some grown ups I know. But in this video, I am able to comb this child's hair by using a few basic tricks so come on let's go so as you can see this child has um great hair uh, you might say okay well it's fine the hair is fine and easy to comb but that's not always the case as when this child is awake it's hard to comb the hair he won't sit still but I have a few tricks of my own. Just watch me. Her daughter here is fine. It's still a struggle to get it combed. So I have to do this in sections. I do not want to take the chance of losing out the whole head and then here weeks and I'm left with a head half done. So I choose to lose, out it, lose it out piece by piece and braid piece by piece. Instead of using a comb to untangle to detangle the hair, I use my hand with gel and I massage it through the hair, little by little, as you can see right here in this video. So after applying the gel with my hands, I use a comb and first I untangle the end of the hair and then I work my way to the roots. Then I slowly braid, making sure that he does not a week before I'm done. and I, I braid until I accomplish the goal which is to get that braid done and then I move on to the next sorry for the lighting on this video I know it's poor but next time I'll do better I'm only able to pull this off while he's sleeping so here I have to braid the hair gently and slowly if I do not do it gently, there's a likelihood that he will awake and then completing this hair braiding will be a struggle because this kid does not sit still. The only way to get that hair done is while he is asleep. So that's why I'm taking the advantage, the opportunity of braiding the hair while he is asleep because that's the only way otherwise forget progress 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 these braids could have been smaller but i didn't want to take the chance of him getting up with a head half done and giving me all kind of trouble to finish braiding so i had to braid it big well, it sure looks better than the way it was before. Sure, it could have been neater, but when you have a sleeping child and trying to braid that hair before he, he or she awakes, well, you try your best. And although sometimes the best is not good enough, but then as, look, as long as the hair looks neat and tidy, that's what matters. After I'm done braiding the hair, I tie it with a do-rag to keep the hair looking fresh and neat and tight. As you can see in this before and after pics, the do-rag makes a great difference. Check out this before and after pics of the back of the head after using a do-rag. So thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed to all, on madame channel please do leave us a comment 
and only a stranger.